As Ukraine withdraws from Severodonetsk and the G7 and NATO leaders gather this week, Russia in the early hours on Sunday briefly and symbolically shifted its focus to Kiev by conducting missile strikes, according to reports from The Guardian. Columns of smoke rose over the central Shevchenkivsky district, home to a cluster of universities, restaurants and art galleries at 6.22 am, The Guardian said. Former boxer and Kiev mayor Vitaly Klitschko said on Telegram that search and rescue operations are underway at the district. Klitschko expressed the likelihood of people being trapped under the rubble and he described the missile attacks as symbolic aggression in light of the G7 and NATO summits taking place in Germany and Spain respectively. According to Reuters, the start of the summit in Germany saw G7 leaders from the UK, the US, Japan and Canada move to ban imports of Russian gold, but European Union members did not yet appear to fully commit. On gold, we are ready to go more into the details and to look if it's possible to target gold in a manner that would target the Russian economy and not in a manner that would target ourselves. Reuters quoted European Council President Charles Michel as saying, Analysts have also weighed in on these developments, with Warren Patterson, head of commodity strategy at Dutch bank ING, telling Bloomberg that the impact of such a ban on Russia would be fairly limited and symbolic. Meanwhile, further updates have emerged on the issue of Ukrainian food grains and supply chain issues that have been at the backdrop of this protracted conflict, given that Ukraine is often labelled as the breadbasket of Europe. As part of its Reality Check series, the BBC has collated tracking data, satellite imagery and interviews with farmers to determine where exactly Russia has appeared to transport Ukrainian grains it has previously been accused of stealing. The answer, it appears, is Crimea, the Ukrainian island Russia had annexed in early 2014. It's very hard to track individual shipments of stolen grain, but there is plenty of evidence that much of it goes first to Crimea. There is satellite imagery at two key entry points, at Chongar and Armyansk, in which you can see a build-up of vehicles, which could be used to transport grain and other produce, the BBC report says. The BBC also cited this data to make claims about where this grain goes, by road and by railways after entering Crimea, with the Black Sea port of Sevastopol and the Russian city of Krasnodar acting as important centres of activity. For The Print, this is Raghav Bikchandani. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on social media.